At Pendleton Ammunition, we're getting asked this question a lot. And that question is, why should I shoot more expensive TSS or tungsten super shot instead of the old, reliable, standby, lead turkey loads that you can buy anywhere, right? The answer is simple and it's supported by mathematics. So I've started a little chart here. First and foremost, tungsten is 1.74 times heavier than lead. It's because tungsten is denser than lead. Now what this means is that you can now shoot a smaller BB and achieve the same weight. Now a prime example of this is that you can take a number five lead load that's 2.25 ounces and you're gonna have let's say approximately 410 pellets. Now, you can take the number nine, okay? Now keep in mind, let's say a number five is that big, okay? You can take a number nine that is that big, And then a two and a quarter ounce, once again, 2.25 ounces. You're gonna have approximately 800 pellets. That's two times the number of pellets, but they weigh the same. You're still sending 2.25 ounces down range. The individual number nine pellets weigh so much more. Once again, weighs 1.74 times heavier than lead. It means these number nine pellets are carrying that energy downrange only in twice the pattern density. And this is easily seen when we go to the range and do our pattern testing. Now, we're gonna be shooting the Browning shotguns. We've got uh, two different Browning shotguns that we've brought out. This one is the 20 gauge, uh, it's a 20 gauge silver. Uh, we put a Burris Fast Fire 3 on it, it's sighted in, and we've got the Indian Creek 555 choke on it. This gun, no problem. This, this load blows my mind to how well the 20 gauge performs, but I'm done talking about it. I want to show you how our 20 gauge shells perform and what you can expect when you go in the field and hunt your turkey this season. So as you can see from those shoot and see targets and the, the incredible pattern density, you get to double your pattern density. You get twice as many BBs in the kill zone without sacrificing any energy. Actually, if you think about this from a scientific fact, a number nine pellet in TSS is 2.03 millimeters in size, okay? So it's, once again, that big. And a number five lead pellet, which is this big, is 3.05 millimeters in diameter. What this means is that the number five pellet has more surface. Number nine pellet has less surface. That's more wind drag, more resistance. It means it's gonna slow down faster. You're not gonna get the range out of it. The number nine TSS will actually carry the energy further down range than number five lead because it's gonna meet less resistance while still carrying the same weight. Now, this really stands out when you watch us shoot this comparison at 40 yards. These are two targets on two separate pieces of plywood, side by side, 40 yards, using the same gun. Now, this is a Browning Maxis semi-automatic shotgun. It's got the Indian Creek choke tube in it. Same gun, only we're gonna fire the Remington Nitro Turkey load first, shooting number five lead, and this is their extra hard special turkey load. Then, we're gonna shoot our same three inch 
12 gauge number nines right behind it. Two targets side by side. Watch the comparison between these two patterns and you tell me which one a turkey is less likely to live through. Now that wasn't a bad pattern for number five lead, but it was nothing compared to the number nine TSS. And I think that everyone, when they see that, you can actually visually see how much denser that pattern is when you can double the number of pellets without sacrificing energy, it's a no brainer. But that's not where this argument ends. You see, we decided to go ahead and shoot out to 50 yards with the TSS shot. This is where tungsten really starts to shine, where the lead shot starts to spread out and get bigger. Because once again, you're talking about bigger spheres, more surface, it's slowing down faster, and it's starting to spread out more because as it meets more air, it moves out more. So now your pattern's getting broader. You'll have fewer BBs. The BBs create bigger space. Lead shot at 50 yards is often very ineffective. But watch as we shoot our TSS shells out of 20 gauge, three inch, one and five eighths load. Then the 12 gauge, two and a quarter ounce load. And the 12 gauge, three and a half inch loads with 2.5 ounces of number nine tungsten super shot. And even at 60 yards, when we stretched that target out, we put it out there 10 more yards just to see how many pellets we could put inside the 17 and a half inch circle on the shoot and see target. Watch as the pellets not only hit the target, but hit it with energy enough to knock the plywood board over. Easily capable of killing a turkey. Now, after all of that, you would think that we'd had enough 60 yards. Nope. Let's walk it out to 75 yards. Same sheet of plywood, fresh shoot and see target, and watch as these pellets not only hit with enough density to kill a turkey at 75 yards, but with enough energy to once again knock the 5 8 inch plywood over, easily capable of carrying enough energy to kill a turkey. Now, do we condone shooting a turkey 75 yards away? That's a per person, skill level, everybody's different. Only do this if you're totally confident, you're experienced and you've practiced a lot. But what we are showing you is how much energy, how much pattern density, and how incredibly effective the tungsten super shot that we're loading truly is. As you can see, TSS or tungsten super shot is so much better than lead that there's absolutely no comparison. If you can afford to shoot it, it will increase your effective shooting range, your ethical killing capability. It's just scientifically and mathematically unable to be compared to lead because it is so much more superior. It just makes sense. And if you wanna see why you should buy Pendleton Ammunitions TSS, which is hand loaded, not machine loaded, and better and more consistent than the other manufacturers out there like Nitro, Browning, Federal, Winchester. Watch this next video because it will show you how consistent our ammunition is, how well manufactured our hand loaded shotgun shells really are, and how deadly accurate they are downrange. Just check it out and enjoy these kill shots of some turkeys that had just been smoked this spring by our friends out in Texas and down in Florida. Enjoy.